Hi everybody, welcome to Raj Tech India. This video is about how to solve invalid data found for IP or invalid reason found for IP error in ESIC portal. Every month employee need to upload ESIC contributions in ESIC portal. There are two ways to upload. They can directly type each and every contribution in ESIC portal or they can upload um, ESIC contributions Excel sheet. But whenever they are trying to upload that Excel sheet, um, they will get these kind of errors like uh, please specify valid reason for IP. Now I will do this in live. I am uploading an ESIC Excel sheet. See whenever I am trying to upload this Excel sheet. Um, see whenever I am trying to upload this Excel sheet, I am getting these kind of errors. Like, please specify valid reason. I have already specified the reason in this Excel sheet. See. See that I already have I already specified a reason for this, but still I am getting this error. The same happened for the other two ASIC numbers also. So how can we solve this issue? So it is very easy to solve this issue. So for that, what we have to do is um, we have to convert each cell of Excel sheet into a text cell. So in order to do that, what we have to do is now select the first column and click on go to data. See, I'm going to go to data and here you can find an option called text to columns. Now click on that. Here you can find this option delimited. Now select it. By default, it will be as delimited. So you don't need to change anything. Now click on next, next, next and finish. Now do that to the second column. See, forget about that uh, error of that particular IP number. If you have a correct data and still if you're not able to upload the actual sheet into ESA ESA portal, then you have to convert each column into a text column so name selected the select second column now click on text two columns and click on next next and finish now the third one next next and finish the fourth one click on finish now the fifth one and click on we have to do it for each column See now we have converted all the columns into text columns. Now click on save. See now I will again upload this file into the ESIC portal. Now again uploading the same file and let's see what will happen. See all those errors work are already gone and I have got the contribution detail. So by this way you can easily solve your problem. So I hope you like this video and if you like this video please share and subscribe to Rajtech India.